Hi everyone, Jeremy here from Vita Studio and today a quick video to share with you an update to our map pack. We've just made a few changes in how the map are behave and we finally added all the different country and their individual region. We also use that opportunity to make some modification to a few different assets inside of the pack to make some up to date with the latest functionality that we've been added, for example, like the counter or like a few background. So if you're ready, let's jump right into it. All right, so if you've already purchased the map pack, you should have received an email with the file to download. If not, you can purchase the full pack on our website at vtutorstudio.com. Once you get the file, you can just double click on it to start the installation process. It will give you this folder. You have a couple of things in the folder, the license, the installation instruction, the DRFX, and the font. If you never install the pack, please install all the font. Otherwise, you can simply double click on the DRFX file. It will just prompt up a this window and you can select overwrite. Now inside of DaVinci Resolve, we can go over to effect and then you can scroll down all the way to map pack and then here you can open the drop down. Most of the changes will occur right here in maps. We've made a few different change to a nation, nation with region and world map. Let's start with the world map to show you the biggest change that we've made so far. So first off, as usual, we're going to drag here the base uh, world map layer. Before, if you remember, you add each individual country that were listed out right here. Uh, and that could be a pain to use if you had a lot of different country. And that's where that new country for world map title come in. So here I'm just going to drag that right above it. And as you can see now, we have the US selected, but we can change to any other country right here from that drop down. So here you can just select any other country you want and it will be displayed right here on the map. That makes it very easy for you to, for example, duplicate multiple countries, stack them on top of each other and easily change from a country to another. So right now, for example, I'm going to hold option and drag that title to just duplicate it. And now we can change it to another country like Brazil, for example. Now we can repeat the same process and we can just do the same thing for France. It might take a while to just look for the right country. So here I can just tap it down directly. And then France is showing up right here. So we hope that those new map behavior are gonna make it easier for you to create what you want and keep your composition well organized. Now, as mentioned, we've also made some change to nation with region. And now we've added pretty much all country in the world with their individual region. So here, if you open that drop down, as you can see, you have every country uh, being listed. And so what we can do, for example, we can go over to France. In this case, take France as the base map, and then we're going to add the region on top of it. And now you can do exactly the same thing as for the world map. You can go and select whatever region you want right there. A few countries got different region uh, because, for example, it has changed. For France, uh, we used to have a certain uh, region layout and now uh, it's a bit different. So we've integrated uh, some old region system and some new region system. For example, here uh, for France, there is a few region that uh, kind of got combined a few years ago. So now we can basically toggle between those and we can also use the old region system. Again, it's a lot of country and I am not, you know, very familiar with uh, the exact original system of each country. So if you noticed any problem uh, and you want to report them, feel free to send an email to support at videoeditorstudio.com and report that issue so we can try to fix it. Again, we just uh, spent a lot of time trying to make everything work, but we are not perfect and uh, there might be a few issues. So let us know if there is anything that we can fix. And then lastly, for the map, we have nation right here, which is basically uh, the same thing. It's the individual country, but with the drop down format. So here you can toggle between all those different country directly here from that drop down. So that's it for the map. That's all the different change that we made. We've also updated some of our counter right here to make them up to date to the latest technique that we are using now for the counter system. So we added the prefix and suffix method the starting number, the final number, uh, which wasn't the case before. But other than that, everything else remain the same. And I will point you to the sample and the demo video that I've made a while back. If you want to follow a few tutorial instruction on how to use the pack and the different asset in it. 
And that's pretty much it. Hope this video was helpful. If you already purchased the pack, thank you so much. And I hope you will enjoy that update. And if you haven't purchased the pack yet, you can find it at videotorstudio.com slash map pack. And I'll see you next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates built only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack that contains over 150 elements. Link in the description below or at videoeditorstudio.com.